There's a camping joke that says, sure, you get eight hours of sleep at camp, but in 52 increments. <laughs> Do yourself a favor. Put a sleeping pad between your sleeping bag and the cold, hard ground. In this video, I'll show you the three main sleeping pad options. First is the air mattress. It travels in a compact bag and includes a rechargeable pump. You should have charged the pump at home, but if you forget, just plug it into your car's cigarette lighter outlet. Run the pump cordless in your tent and the bed inflates in 60 seconds. The aero beds even fit standard size sheets, just like home. At the end of camp, flip open the air release valve. The air mattress is my preferred choice of sleeping at camp. Look at that plush, velvety surface. You know you'll sleep like a baby. But you will never find a backpacker carrying this because it's heavy, bulky, and can puncture or rip easily on rocky terrain. Option two is the self-inflating foam pad. This is an open cell foam pad wrapped in an airtight, waterproof nylon shell. It is much more lightweight and compact. This may surprise you, but it is actually a more effective insulator than an air mattress because the tiny foam cells restrict air circulation. It's great to have as a spare for friends who forget their pad, or for kids. But it's not puncture proof. Backpackers who camp on rough terrain worry about that. I mean a punctured inflatable pad is a useless pad. Some manufacturers have solved that problem by having a puncture proof bottom layer. Watch this. Although option two is much more compact, it can still be too bulky for long distance backpackers. They prefer the minimalist closed cell foam pad, which brings us to option three. The thin pad is made out of dense foam filled with tiny closed air cells for insulation. The fancy ones have egg carton pattern to increase softness and add insulation. These pads are very light. We are talking a pound or less. They are also cheap, durable, and provide excellent insulation. The downside is obvious. You better not have back problems or be a finicky sleeper. These pads are stiff and firm and provide far less cushioning. So, which option is right for you? Well, it comes down to how you plan to use it. <laughs>